The Greenville Zoo is kicking off a year-long celebration of 50 years. Wow, that is almost as old as I am. Uh, that has just been a great attraction for us for so many years. It's rated as one of the top tourist attractions in the whole state of South Carolina. And uh, obviously, many, many people come here. Over 270,000 people attend the zoo uh, to look at, enjoy the variety of wildlife featured from really all over the world. Uh, the Greenville Zoo has been busy over the last month making many renovations to the facility. Some improvements include painting the reptile building, concessions and restrooms, tree and bush trimming and removal throughout the entire zoo, reorganization of the gift shop, new merchandise and menu items for the gift shop and concessions you will see, new carpet and paint in the conservation station, new educational offices, a new distance learning classroom with biofax storage area. So lots of new things and exciting things are happening at the zoo. A lot will be done this year and lots planned for this 50 year, year long celebration. As Mr. Bori uh, mentioned, this is our 50, 50th anniversary at the zoo, and I just celebrated my 50th birthday, so I know what a milestone this is. Um, and the staff has really uh, begun organizing a series of events that uh, will be uh, highlighted over the summer. And so we really just want to ask you to, to really stay tuned with the, uh, what's going on here at the zoo. Watch for our, our uh, news releases for the various events that it will begin in June, around the 21st of June, and will wrap up really at the end of August. And some of the significant things that are going to happen, other than just turning 50 years old for the zoo, is that we have a couple of significant birthdays as well. Joy, who is our resident elephant, uh, turns 40 this year. So there's likely to be a celebration uh, just for joy. And Maya, our male orang, orangutan, turns uh, 21 this year. So the Friends of the Zoo are planning a very special event for his birthday and we're looking forward for that. Um, this is a very family oriented place and, and we know that our membership and, uh, and admission is very reasonable and we just want to invite the Greenville public and uh, Greenville area residents to really come out and enjoy the zoo. Uh, buy a membership which really helps support our, our uh, baseline revenue and, and allows us to keep the zoo uh, in the level of service that you all have come to expect over the last 50 years. I'm fortunate enough to get to talk about the animals and do the fun stuff today. Behind me, uh, this past year and a half, we've been blessed with two baby colobus monkeys. And what's special about them is they're part of a captive breeding program, part of a species survival plan. So for us to have these animals here and to be reproducing them, it not only helps the animals in zoos across the nation, but also helps to uh, let people know about the wild populations and what we can do to help them. The parents of the two offspring, or two young ones, are Lammy, the female, and Valentino, the male. They're part of a conservation breeding program like we talked about. And earlier this year, we decided to open up the Name the Baby contest for the older male that was born last February. And we're surprised this winter, um, just before our, uh, winter closing, to have another baby born. So we extended the Name the Baby contest. We had over 100 names entered and we narrowed that list down to about 25 names and then had the staff vote on the winning names and so our one-year-old which is the one that's hopping around most back there um, the name selected for him was Deo which means in Swahili joy arrives and I, right now I would like to invite 10-year-old Colin Sparks who submitted the name for Deo Present him with a gift, ba a gift basket with nearly $300 worth of gifts in there for him and his family to enjoy. And we appreciate you, Thank you. interacting with the zoo. The younger baby we've got on exhibit is a uh, two month old and he still has his white coloring that has started to fade and people coming out to the zoo will have about another month to see him in his white face before he starts uh, getting the adult color, uh, coloration. And the name that was selected for him was Kumbi, which is in Swahili for expression of surprise. <laughs> and that name was submitted by Carolyn Grothaus. 
and I don't believe she is here today but we'll make sure that Carolyn receives her gift basket and we appreciate everybody that did submit names and took the interest in the Greenville Zoo. And I want to invite everybody to visit us on our website www.greenvillesc.gov and become a fan of the Facebook page. Uh, the zoo's got a lot of fans already, but we're always welcome more. Thank you very much.